just uh, wanted to make sure you're ready for your big ceremony today. Yep. Wow, I still can't believe my friends and I are getting medals of honor. Are you kidding? You totally deserve it. After all, you saved Equestria from Queen Chrysalis with the help of Trixie and Thorax and Discord and... Uh, yeah, I know what happened. I was kind of there. Uh, right. Uh, so what are you wearing? Not sure. Why? Am I supposed to dress up? No, I mean, you could. It's like Rarity always says. There's no such thing as overdressed, darling. You're just the best-looking pony in the room. <laughs> what are you looking at? No, don't look! Because there was a spider there, but it's uh, gone now. So, uh, thanks, darling. Bye. Huh? She had no idea. We're a good team, Sparkle. Sparkle? <laughs> yeah, we are. So, do you think she'll like it? I want this present to say, I'm so proud of you, both as a mentor and a friend. Equestria is safer thanks to you. Oh, I thought you were getting her a mirror, like yours. I am. Well, maybe you should get her a card, because I don't think the mirror will say all that. But I think she'll like it. It's just what her room needs. The first thing she'll see when she wakes up is herself surrounded by all her friends. I plan on giving it to her after the ceremony. Yeah, about that. Don't you need to get the castle ready for the celebration? Nah, Pinkie Pie's got that covered. Hmm. <laughs> My little light, Trixie, Thorax, and Discord were brave in the face of danger resourceful when things got challenging, and proved that the bonds of friendship, no matter how unlikely, are stronger than any adversity. By stopping Queen Chrysalis, not only did they save Equestria, they set the changelings free from her reign. Go, Discord! <laughs> and that's why we're proud and honored to give them the Equestrian Pink Hearts of Courage. <laughs> to do it without magic. It was amazing. No one's ever stood up to chrysalis like that. Oh, I just did what any pony would have done. It's a wonderful feeling, isn't it? Watching your student shine the way you always knew they could. <laughs> my cheeks are sore. I don't think I've ever smiled this much in my life. I can only imagine what that feels like. Yes, Starlight is student of the year, isn't she? She has so much potential. So, what are we going to do with her? And by we, I definitely mean you, being her mentor and all that. Her destiny falls squarely on your haunches. Oh, don't you worry. I've planned enough friendship lessons to cover the next three years. <laughs> What's so funny? No, no. Clearly, Starlight is beyond basic friendship lessons. She just won a medal for Equestria's sake. I thought you were joking. You are joking, right? <laughs> yeah, of course I was. Obviously, you should have a grand master plan for her, the same way Celestia set you on a path that eventually made you a princess. Yep. Oh, God. Good. I'm sure she can't wait to hear all about it. 
So, how's the whole ruling a kingdom thing going? It's a bit overwhelming, but we're adjusting. So, you can't have friendship without makeovers? Uh, not, not exactly. Oh, Starlight. Princess Twilight has something very important to tell us. Well, just you, really, but I'm nosy and I want to hear. Okay, would you excuse me? Never mind. What's going on? Well, Twilight was just about to reveal her grand master plan for you. Really? I was kind of wondering what we were going to do next. Yes, I'd say we were both fairly interested. Of course you are. And I do have a plan, obviously. But now is clearly not the time to do it. You should enjoy your party. Starlight, come on. The Ponyville Chronicle wants to take our picture. Ugh. You too, Discord. <sighs> I see what you're doing. You do? You already planned the perfect moment during the party to make the grand announcement to every pony about your plan. <laughs> Bravo, Twilight. I can't wait to tell Fluttershy and the others. Discord, no! Twilight? Are you reading during a party? Again? No, no, no. She's already good at that. She mastered this. She taught me about this one. Wild guess. Something's wrong. Spike, I'm a terrible mentor. Why didn't I come up with a path for Starlight? Princess Celestia had it all figured out for me. <gasps> That's it! <laughs> <laughs> I had years worth of friendship lessons ready to go. But when we were captured by Chrysalis, Starlight took charge and really stepped up. I don't think friendship lessons are enough for her anymore. So you have an overachieving student. Sounds familiar. <laughs> That's why I had to talk to you. You of all ponies would know what to do. I mean, you were me and I was Starlight. But for now, I need you to pretend you are you and I'm me. Huh? <laughs> Go on. When I was your student and you were in this place, you... Oh no. You sent me to Ponyville, which means it's time for me to send Starlight Glimmer away! I can't believe it! It really is time for Starlight to go, isn't it? Only you can make that decision. It's a difficult one, but your heart knows what's right, even as it hurts. Where are you gonna send her? <laughs> ah, too soon. No, this is something I have to do. Whatever Twilight's planning for Starlight is going to be so exciting. Hmm. Wonder why she didn't tell any of us about it. Probably because you're not as close as you think you are. Oh, just kidding. She wanted it to be a big surprise. Just between us, she's getting ready to make a big announcement. That's so exciting and surprising. Usually you tell your party planner about all your plans for your party. Well, she definitely has one. I mean, when has Twilight not had a plan? Gosh, I don't know. I just don't want her to send her the wrong place. I got it! Since defeating Chrysalis, Starlight's given the changelings an opportunity to revolutionize their society. Maybe I can send her there. Cool spell. If Starlight goes to the changeling hive, she can help them adjust to their new way of life. Okay, friendship 101. Thorax and I are going to show you how to compromise. I want to have honeysuckle nectar for lunch. I would like a sandwich. Oh no, what should we do? The tag! The winner gets to choose! Uh. <laughs> or, Thorax and I can talk about it and come up with a solution that works for every pony. Starlight, how do you feel about honeysuckle and peanut butter sandwiches? Why, that sounds delicious! Compromise! Compromise. Uh, this doesn't seem like something Starlight and Thorax would do. Uh, this is Twilight's fantasy spike. There is no wrong way to fantasize. Thank you. Starlight Glimmer is a most apt and perspicacious pony. Yep, definitely a Twilight fantasy. 
This seems like a lovely path for Starlight. The Changelings have so much to learn about how to enjoy love through friendships. Starlight would be busy for a very long time, but her work there would be very rewarding. Or dangerous. It would only take one Changeling to deviate from the pack. <laughs> Hi! I'm Starlight Glimmer. What's your name? Uh, Cornicle. <laughs> what kind of name is that? Oh, your wings are so, um, see-through. I'm so glad I'm a pony. Are you like bugs or what? Probably won't happen. But it could. I can't just send her off to Celestia knows where without thinking it through. Hmm. I was not aware that I was an expression. An appropriate one, of course. For even I don't know the answer. This is a momentous decision. You must consider all the possibilities. We think, we think, we think. What about the dragons? I can send Starlight to the Dragonlands. She and Ember would totally hit it off. Okay, that doesn't sound anything like Ember or Starlight. Who knows what their dynamic would be, Spike? <laughs> Freaky. Starlight will love it in the Dragonlands. In her letters, Ember said dragons do a lot of fun things. The Feast of Fires, the Dragon Bowl, Quachella. But then again, not all dragons like ponies as much as Ember does. Hey, Twinkle Star! It's a uh, Starlight Glimmer. Star Colite Star? Starlight Glimmer. Yeah, whatever. You want to hang with us? What are we diving into? Lava! What? Twilight, this is crazy. Starlight's really good with magic. She could just stop herself from falling into a pit of lava. What if she didn't realize it was happening? You just never know, Spike. I just need to think of someplace safe to send her. Someplace safe, someplace safe, someplace safe. I could send her to the Crystal Empire to continue her magical studies with Sunburst. It'll be perfect. Sunburst's knowledge of magic is only matched by Starlight's abilities. I got it! And try placing your horn directly on the potion and picture the clock you wish to make. They can challenge each other into becoming the most talented unicorns that Equestria has ever seen. We did it! Quick, what's next? Of course, the study of magic is a lifelong pursuit and Starlight could be there for a while, especially once they start attempting the really complicated stuff. Three, two, one... What if they become too ambitious? I never would have thought to combine Star Swirl's apparition spell with Spatium Flexibus. But what would happen if we added Sonambula's Tempest Objectus? If we do it just right, it should allow us to materialize an object that was lost in the past. <laughs> Right back with. <laughs> I can't believe you're laughing at 
laughing at me. Uh, oh, Twilight, I'm not. I'm laughing because I have the exact same fears you're having. What? Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a very bright young filly. She was truly one of my best students. Are you talking about Twilight? I can't see what you're thinking about. <sighs> yes, Spike. I was constantly surprised and impressed with her discoveries. But I noticed that her pursuit of academia was preventing her from reaching her full potential. You mean it was keeping her isolated and alone? Uh, yes, Spike. I had a decision to make. Oh, but it wasn't easy. Maybe I could close the library or throw a party in the castle. Oh, she'd have to talk to the other fillies then. Oh. I must send her away. I knew there was a special group of fillies in Ponyville, but I kept inventing all kinds of reasons why I shouldn't send you. <laughs> what if she runs into a manticore? Or what if she gets pulled into Tartarus? Or worst of all, what if she doesn't get along with any pony? Are we supposed to say something? I don't think so. I kept you in Canterlot longer than I should have. Eventually, I realized all the anxiety I felt was because I didn't want you to go. Really? I loved having you as a student. You challenged me and taught me just as much as I taught you. I am embarrassed to admit it, but I was afraid if you made friends, you wouldn't need me anymore. Princess Celestia, that is so not true. I will always need you. I think Starlight Glimmer might feel the same way about you, if that is what you're afraid of. Maybe it is, just a little. <laughs> oh, it definitely is, like a lot. Here we are after all these years, Twilight. We are living proof that letting someone spread their wings doesn't mean you no longer have a place in their lives. Thank you. And if you're still worried, you can always make her write you letters. <laughs> I may have let it slip that you'd be unveiling your big plan for Starlight tonight. Silly me. But we're all very excited to hear what you've cooked up. You weren't coming up with a plan just now, were you? Oh, dear. This could be pretty embarrassing for you. Gee, thanks, Discord. Anytime. I really do love being helpful. <laughs> If I could have every pony's attention? As you all know, Starlight Glimmer's been my pupil for a while now. And I'd hoped she'd be my pupil for a long time yet to come. But it turns out that's just not meant to be. <gasps> Starlight, you have proved yourself to be a kind, loyal, strong, honest, and truly magical friend. Just looking around this room at all the new friendships you've made, I know there's nothing more I need to teach you. So we have a second reason to celebrate today. Three cheers for Starlight Glimmer on her graduation day. <laughs> what a great surprise! Your future's in your own hooves now. Wow, I was not expecting this. Mm. <laughs> Darn it, I was hoping you'd send her to my realm. We could have been roomies. Way to not pick up what I was putting down. How do you want to celebrate? Girls' trip to Las Pegasus? We can throw you a changeling gourd fest! Uh, it's more fun than it sounds. Or we could go cause a little mischief. I know a trick that'll turn Celestia's castle into cheese. Do you think it's a gouda idea? <laughs> That's just the first of many cheese jokes if we go down this path. Oh, that all sounds wonderful. But, um, give me a minute, would ya? <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. So, how do you feel? Happy? Surprised? Overwhelmed? I mean, not that I'm not grateful, but are you sure? Believe me, I've thought long and hard about this. Of course you did. 
Starlight, trust me. You're ready. Yeah. No, I'm not. What are you talking about? I'm not ready to leave. Oh, good, because I'm not ready for that either. Here, I got you this present. It was going to be a congrats on getting a Medal of Honor present, but then I was afraid it would have to be a going away present, but now it's I couldn't be happy you're staying present. It fits perfectly over your dresser. I know, I measured. Thank you. I may not know what comes next for you, but whatever it is, I promise I'll always be there for you. Oh. Oh.